Hello everyone, in today's video, we're discussing a user experience issue I encountered while using um, the Walmart online shopping cart. Um, um, I have Walmart Plus, which is a uh, fantastic program when you can't make it to the store, but it comes with its challenges, especially when items are out of stock. Um, let's dive into this issue, examine its impact on overall shopping experiences and propose potential solutions. If you've ever been stumped by the substitute item option on this website or are just interested in everything UX, then this video is for you. Okay, let's get started. So during the shopping experience, um, Walmart may sometimes not have the specific item you're looking for. In such cases, they present an, an alternative or a substitute. Um, now, the problem arises when one wishes to adjust this substitute. Um, despite exploring order review options or clicking on the original product, there's no apparent option to amend the replacement product. They just kind of show you what you either previously chosen or you get the default best match. Alrighty, so this situation underscores a um, notable user experience issue for me. It's uh, possible this functionality is on, Wal on Walmart's future release schedule, um, but it could just be something that they overlooked during, during the uh, design phase. Re um, regardless, uh, this presents an obstacle in a smooth user journey, right? So with this limitation could lead to a less than ideal replacement, leading to customers receiving items that don't meet their specific needs or preferences. Um, such a situation can result in uh, customer dissatisfaction, right? So definitely was a pain point and friction point for me today while making my usual Walmart plus delivery order today. Um, now, Walmart has a kind of a fail safe where they notify you via email or text if there is a substitution. Um, but sometimes I'm not on my phone or in my computer, so I don't, or maybe I'm just napping, so I don't get that substitution notification. So if you don't get it in time, they will actually just pick your, whatever your previous substitution was for that item or just again best match again um, still it's just a bit odd that a user has the power to review an item but lacks the ability to adjust their replacement when uh, the original product you wanted isn't available so for me this is a clear friction point within the user experience here uh, the difficulty in identif identifying where on the page to change replacement choices can lead to user frustration and um, you know negatively affect the shopping experience. And that's what happened with me. I'm sitting around just okay. There's I'm looking at the text right, and I'm just like okay, maybe I, maybe it's clickable. So even though I'm pretty sure it wasn't clickable, but I still was like maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's a browser issue, or whatever. But it was frustrating um, to say the least when I realized that they just didn't allow it in this particular um, scenario. Um, my suggestion is to improve this, that you know, it's an easy fix. Just make that text clearly where, where the substitution is, make it clearly editable where you can click. I mean, clearly that it's a clickable link and that would fix that and it grants the user the power to select an alternative that meets their needs, which would boost the satisfaction. Whereas the other downside is the user doesn't pick their particular item, they get the best match and it's something that they are not happy with. Um, so this would, you know, enhance the system, hit clarity here, reduce the confusion and promote a smoother and more enjo enjoyable user journey. Um, yeah, so again, this is the primary user experience hurdle I ran into today with the Walmart website. Um, but I think if they address these issues with this one place, um, we can enhance the overall online shopping experience and make it a more friendly and user friendly and intuitive. Um, that's all I have for today. Thanks for tuning in and take care.